Today, I've had a couple of client questions about acne and spots and people are saying to me, your skin's always so glowing. How come you never get spots? What are you doing? Well, first of all, <laughs> it's not that I never get spots. It's that when I get spots, it's not like I'm coming here on Instagram to go like, hey, look at my spots. But I'm due my period tomorrow or the next day. And often if I've had stress in the month coming up to my period, if I've had a really busy time, if I haven't been respecting my cycle, which I definitely didn't this month because everything was so busy. And we have to just acknowledge that some months aren't going to be perfect. I haven't been doing enough meditation, haven't been doing enough of my pelvic movements for my circling and my releasing tension in that area. I haven't been eating as well as I could do. I've been eating a lot of, I'm pretty good with my eating and choices, but I tend to eat too late at night when I'm really busy. So I'm doing any of those things properly. And so I know that my body is more stressed. I can feel it. And coming up to that, what that's meant is spot. So what this tells me when you get acne or spots in this area is this is hormone related or colon related. So you really want to look at what's happening. And often hormones and colon stuff go hand in hand. For some of us, the hormones of our cycle mean that we eliminate too quickly. So we get IBS type symptoms like diarrhea. Or we get bunged up and blocked up, we retain water and we hold in the week leading up to our period. And then sometimes we can get diarrhea the night before our period and everything kind of unclogs again. And I know for me, when I'm stressed, when I'm tired and when I'm tense, everything slows down, everything gets bloated, everything gets bunged up. And then you're not eliminating toxins from your body as well. And that's what's happened here. The hormones are pretty balanced for me right now because my periods are coming on time regularly. I always track them. I track them on an app. I've been tracking for years now so I can see how long my cycles are. I track all of my, am I getting tender breasts? Am I getting bloating? You know, all of those kinds of things. So the question is, what can we do about it? And the first thing is we need to look after our cycles. We need to respect our cycles. We need to notice what we do during our bleeding time is different to our ovulation time. What are our hormones doing in the different weeks so that we know how to eat properly and look after ourselves? We need to not overschedule ourselves. We just need to be more mindful of those things. And if we are really busy and overscheduled, we need to notice that we need to input rest breaks during the day so that our stress levels don't get too high. If you're someone like me who tends towards constipation in those times, you need to up your fibre and up your hydration. So adding electrolyte minerals into your water is a really, really good one for that. Making sure that you're doing a lot of circling movements, knees into the chest, rocking, rocking child's pose, those kinds of things to keep the throughput moving. Um, and then you can also take hormonal support. So two gentle ones that I like are Shatavari and Starflower Oil. These are things that I ran out of this month. So also, again, it's not surprising that I'm struggling this month more than I would have been. Once the spots are there, what can you do? I buy a colloidal silver and aloe vera gel combined and I dab it on. And then at night time, I get the Antipodes Nuka Honey Mask and I put it on the spots and leave it on overnight. I find that's really, really helpful. The other thing is doing gua sha in the areas, not directly over the spots, but around the spots and underneath to improve that lymphatic drainage, move those toxins away, bring that fresh blood flow to the area and just help it to heal more naturally. So those are my top tips. We're all human. Don't get stressed out. Stress is what affects your skin negatively. And don't believe everything that you see on Instagram. Don't think that everyone's highlight reel is how they actually look every day.